So hello, good morning and welcome to another video from sunny Oxfordshire. Um, this morning I'm going to start on another project that I've been really excited about for a very long time and um, with lockdown now it seems like as good a time as any to get going with it. Um, and also my first unboxing. Um, Everything I should add that you'll see is uh, been bought and paid for by myself. There is no sponsorship in this uh, video. So, right, um, we shall get on and hopefully, you might have already guessed what it's all about. Um, but if not, you will in just a second. So, let's start by opening up this box. And it seems in the tradition of uh, YouTube to use a, I have to use a blade to do this. So, some packing. And the main subject, which you can see, is from Cam Traptions, which should probably give away <coughs> what this project is if this hadn't already given it away. And basically, my intention is to create a DSLR camera trap. And what I'm going to do is use this uh, little Peli case to house the camera. Um, I have uh, let's go that. Uh, I have a few clamps and things which I will be using to mount them with uh, in on location, which you can see as a, as a magic arm with a clamp and a couple of clamps just with a little ball, mini ball heads. Um, so hopefully those will do the job. Uh, we shall see. Um, and uh, for the flash, um, I'm going to use this tube, uh, which I had lying around. Uh, so I shall mount it in there and use the clamps to, uh, to, to, to mount them with. I shall pad this out. Um, because I don't want them white, I've also bought some uh, green and brown paint, so I'll be spraying those up. Oops. I hope you can all hear me with the wind blowing around. And I just lost my piece of paper, never mind. Um, and I've also got a box here full of odds and ends, uh, screws and adapters, camera uh, mounts, that sort of thing, um, which should come in useful. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut a hole in here um, and then mount this, which I also ordered from Amazon just a few days ago, as a hood uh, for the lens to stick out through and to be protected from the weather. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get on with that um, and hopefully you will enjoy watching me build this, um, this camera. So let's get on with it.
so I finally finished uh, putting together the uh, DSLR camera trap and uh, I will go through each of the pieces one by one to show you everything that I've done and talk through the whole thing. So I'll start off with the um, with the sensor itself from Cam Traptions. Um, I've only tested it uh, in, indoors once I finished setting it up. Um, I haven't actually tested it in the field. Um, but so far it works a treat. The, um, it works really well um, and it has some amazing features to it. It is however very complicated to set up um, and requires, well not complicated I shouldn't say that, um, but it just requires a lot of heavy reading of the manual which is not the best um, to try and get your head around all the different settings that you can possibly set up and all the possible com um, combinations between wireless and wired and all the rest of it um, to, set, to set it up and different modes between night and day and night and day and all of that um, but it does work brilliantly uh, at least so far um, like I say uh, field testing notwithstanding so uh, yeah that's absolutely brilliant um, I've chosen in my setup to have a semi wireless so the actual sensor itself is wired to the camera and the camera has uh, a, tr a remote trigger on it which triggers wirelessly the two flash units um, and I'll talk you through that next so um, in terms of the, um, the, the, the build for, for the camera, the housing um, it's a Peli 1300 case um, and on the front I put a 100mm um, a uh, um, plumbing pipe with a flange so it was easy to stick onto the side of the box, uh, the case um, and it acts as a really good hood for the, for the camera and the lens inside hopefully it'll stop that getting wet um, and uh, damaged by the weather so inside you can see I have the camera which is neatly nestled inside the foam um, with the cable that runs to the sensor uh, and the uh, wireless trigger mounted onto the hot shoe which will set off the flashes. Um, I drilled a small hole in the side here of the case as well for the wire um, and that's it. That was basically it. Very simple um, uh, setup for the, um, for the camera box, camera housing. On the bottom, um, I just used a simple um, uh, tripod mount, um, and then I ordered these two little tripods from uh, Amazon, uh, which were very cheap. I think they were like ten pounds each or something, and they're really nice. They um, fold up quite small um, and are very lightweight, easy to carry. They're fairly stable; not the most stable thing out there. Um, but they also extend so you can have a small uh, setting for the legs to sit on or you can extend them out and it gives an even more stable uh, and it has a little ball head as well which makes life a lot easier for positioning the camera um, so that was those things uh, at the other end the flash what I did was I used a hundred mil plumbing pipe and I ordered these caps which took a really long time to come from Amazon, I have to say. Um, and uh, also, even though I did order 100mm, um, they didn't really fit properly. So to, um, they were too small, basically, for the 100mm pipe. So what I've done is I've, I've um, put some insulating tape around the side, so now it's a more snug fit. Uh, and then in the one end, I cut the aperture for the flash to stick its head out through. Um, and then inside, you can see it just slides in and out. Um, and inside I've mounted uh, some, um, some foam to act as a bit of padding, stop this rattling around uh, during uh, travel and all that sort of thing. And on the bottom, again, it's just mounted with a quarter inch screw onto the uh, little clamp, which has a built-in um, uh, ball and socket joint here ball head joint with a clamp and that can clamp onto any tree or branch whatever uh, and and you can position the tripe the flash in whichever way you want uh, 
to light your subject. And that all just fits in beautifully. You've got the wireless receiver here on the bottom. So I just slide it in and poke it out through the end. And then I just match up the, the cap and get it in. that and I'll probably if when I put it in the field I'll probably seal this off as well with a bit of um, uh, insulating tape uh, just to make sure that it's a hundred percent weather sealed and that seals off at the other end like that so I got two of those and I'll probably make another one because I think a three light setup will probably give a better lighting uh, for, for whatever I'm gonna shoot and that's about it so the whole setup didn't take very long uh, to, to put together. It was quite, it was quite easy. Um, you just need all the necessary bits and bobs. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this and I hope it's been instructional. Um, uh, and if you have enjoyed watching this video, please consider clicking on that like button down below. And if you'd like to see more content, please do uh, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, and uh, I, hopefully I will put this into action in the next couple of weeks in the field and I'll be bringing you that in a future video. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.